There are two different examples that I'm going to show you right now, and you are going to decide which one you would pick personally. Example A. Man, I hate religion. All it does is cause harm and kills people in the world. I hate science because none of it makes sense to me, and it's full of a bunch of nerds that try to prove things right. Well, it's probably a bunch of lies. And don't even get me started on society. Why do we have to accept all other races? I don't care about any other race but my own. And why do we have to accept gay people? I hate gay people. Example B. I don't hate religion because it's not all about killing people. I don't hate science because if you take the time and the effort to understand it, you will understand it. And I don't hate society. No matter who you are or what you've done or what gender you prefer, that's you. And I accept you no matter what. Because in the end of the day, we are all human. We all have emotions. We all have blood and we all have a heart. And that is why everyone in this room, even you judge, needs to accept Rel Sieti. Now, I know what you're thinking. What on earth is Rel Sieti? Well, it's a word where religion, science, and society are all put together into one word. The first three letters of religion, R-E-L, and the first three letters of science, S-C-I, and the last three letters of society, E-T-Y, put that all together into one word and it creates Rel Sieti. Now, you're not going to find this in an urban dictionary because I made the word up. But the word has true meaning behind it, and it is to simply accept religion, science, and society all together. Today, like example A, I hear many people saying these hateful comments about religion, science, and society, when all it's going to do is spread more hate into the world. It's a chain reaction of hateful comments from one to another, persuading people to hate the outcasters, making it so no one can be who they truly are. Because who would want to be something or even follow something that's hated on by others? Personally, I wouldn't want to live in a world like example A. But yet I'm living in it currently and so is everyone here today. That's the problem. We are not accepting the full part of Ross Yeti. Instead of accept accepting Ross Yeti to altogether, we choose to follow certain parts of Ross Yeti. Whether it only be religion or only science or only society. As human beings, we think these things are so different from each other. But in actuality, they all revolve around one thing that makes our lives happy and full of excitement. And they all teach us by expressing it in different ways. And that is the word love. Now, religion, science, and society are usually touchy subjects to talk about. But in order for you to understand why we must accept Rossietti, I must talk about religion and science and society. Today, I will show you what it's like to accept each category Rel Sieti has to offer. Happiness is when what you say, what you do, and what you think are in harmony. Mahat Gandhi. Love one another as I have loved you. Judge not and care for them. Jesus Christ. Two people who changed others' viewpoints back then and still have that same uh, effect today. The reason why I chose these two people is because it shows even when the whole world is full of hate and you keep spreading love, even when so many are against you and you keep spreading that love, eventually others will start loving as well. Now take away the preachers that preach hate that are founded in very few religions, and I do mean very few. Take away the killings. What has religion mainly taught us? It has taught us to love. Jesus Christ and Mahat Gandhi both died for the spread of love. You see, as I hear today, many people say God is love and God loves all his children no matter what. If that is true, then we should love as well. Because that is what God has taught us. You see, God never said hate others in the Bible or the Quran. The main message that was sent was to love others. And that is what religion has taught us. That is the R-E-L in Ralph Sieti. Science shows us why we need to love. The reason why we need to love is to give our brain a satisfied feeling. In order to get this satisfied feeling, a chemical called phenlethylamine must be activated in the brain. The only way this chemical is activated is by human emotion towards another person, also known as love. Love consists of lust, attraction, and attachment. These three things prove why love is a good thing and why love is real. Now, you can also get this chemical reaction by accepting someone for their differences because when you accept someone, for their differences, you replace that hatred for them with acceptance, and that acceptance will lead to happiness, and that happiness will lead to love. Yes, it may be a different type of love, but nonetheless, it is still love. 
And also when you love, it releases stress easier. What causes stress is a chemical compound called neuropiferin. And neuropiferin will actually kill your brain cells, making you a less intelligent and happier person. Now the best way to get rid of neuropiferin is for love or happiness to send dopamine or, ne or phenlethylamine to the brain, which would be saving your brain cells, making you a much more intelligent and happier person. People love to wonder. And that is the seed of science, Ralph Emerson. That is the SCI in Ralph Sieti. Everyone has something to offer this world. The question is, will we create a society that can see everyone's worth? Michael Tico. People can tend to hate society because nowadays society pushes for acceptance for all. Whether you're gay, straight, a little bit obese, from a different religion, it doesn't matter. Society is a formal association of people with similar interests, and I believe that my society, my generation, pushes for acceptance for all. But you have to understand there are people that do not agree with my society. And that's perfectly okay. I don't hate them for speaking their own mind. Because if I were to hate them, that would be hypocritical to my whole entire speech. In fact, if I were to hate them, that would just be adding fuel to the fire when I could let the fire die out alone, uh, on its own by avoiding it. The reason why society pushes for acceptance for all is to make people feel happy. Because when people feel happy, when people feel happy when they feel accepted. That's why schools push for non-bullying. That's why there are gay parades to gather people gay or straight to come together and support people that like the same gender. That's why there are rallies for what people believe in. The main goal of these people from kids being bullied, from people liking the same gender, from people standing up for what they believe in, is not that you agree with them. Is that you accept them even if you don't agree with them that's what they try for and that is the ETY in Ralph Sieti. now a lot of people may not agree with what I have said today and then I wonder why is it because they're scared or maybe they just like to hate people also hate what they can't understand someone may not know why a person is bullied or why they like the same gender People may also hate because of prejudice. There are many reasons to why people may tend to hate than love. The solution to that is to not care what a person is because their life is simply not yours and your life is simply not theirs. So just accept them even if you don't agree with them. Ralph Steady may be a, a word that I made up, but by accepting it, it's a start to making the world a better place. And I want to let everyone know here today that I accept you. And I accept you, and I accept you. I accept everyone here, no matter what you've done, who you like, or what you are. But the question I have for you is, do you accept me?